Alrighty, so I got quite the update for you guys today. You're gonna start seeing videos getting pumped out on this channel um, almost daily. Plus I have some awesome content I've been working on. I have my 2021 Rides Ranked video coming out soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But Flight Deck was getting ready for the season, which we'll have testing footage for you in our next video. The fly queue line was being cleaned out. So for those that don't know, they actually do this every year. They call in some of the ride ops early and they go through queue lines and start cleaning up the park, getting all the rides ready and clean for you. So I caught that on video that I thought I'd just share with you guys. Soaring Timbers um, is getting ready as well as you can see them working on there. Uh, rides that they are getting ready, they were getting ready Lumberjack, Vortex, um, Silver Streak, uh, The Fly, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss some of them, Thunder Run, uh, all of them, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, Sledgehammer was getting ready as well. Flight Deck, I think, which I've already said a couple times. Fun Canoes, I don't know if I said that. But you're gonna see them. Some of the Winterfest decorations are still up too, which I thought was uh, a little strange, you know? We're down to like six weeks still. Uh, there are guests in this park, maybe five weeks for bank days. But uh, the roof looks like it is done on top of Canterbury Theater. Uh, the restaurant still looks like it's nowhere close to opening. Honestly, I, I, this thing probably won't open until like summer. Uh, they seem really far behind. They are working Monday to Sunday now. So for those that do know, I have been flying on some weekends and they are there working. Uh, so they are trying really hard to get it open. I'm a little curious what that means for um, Skyhawk. Uh, but here they are working on Sledgehammer as well. Uh, I don't know what it is, but Sledgehammer's colors are just popping. I don't know if it got like a fresh coat of paint or something. Uh, but it just looks really vibrant and clean. I don't know if that's just me. Comment down below if you're noticing the same thing. I didn't see any signs of paint or anything, but it's looking pretty vibrant. Maybe that's just because it's right next to Behemoth. Uh, they were doing a lift hill walk on Yukon Striker, just doing some checks on it. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Here you can see him going down and then you're gonna see him kind of like turning off the power to the ride after, which I thought was pretty cool that I caught on camera. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I, I am noticing some things by Action Theater. Uh, nothing exciting, nothing that I can confirm is anything. That is gonna, I'm gonna have to wait till I can go in person and go look. Um, but I did notice some weird things on in the patch of grass, the infield of where the queue line used to be. So we'll check out what that is when the park actually opens. Um, keep your eyes on, uh, what is it? Guardian. Wonder Mountain's Guardian. There are going to be some changes to Wonder Mountain's Guardian this season, so just keep an eye out. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but just keep keep, keep your eyes out because it's a pretty awesome change. Um, and yeah, there is a lot more that I'm missing. I'm waiting for the next clip because I've forgotten now. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, you're going to start to see rides testing on weekends. Uh, which is really cool. So we'll be there filming. Uh, the drone has some really cool features that I'm gonna be able to show you guys once the rides start testing. And I'm really excited. I've done a lot of practicing and uh, picked our shots already. You're gonna see some pretty awesome cinematic uh, shots of the rides testing. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that. But here is the maintenance guy just powering off that elevator lift. Uh, here they are working on the Vortex train on the transfer side of the track. So as you can tell, the track is slid to the left a little bit and the maintenance guy was just finishing up working on the train and then he's heading back into the station with the ladder. So that's pretty cool. Again, these maintenance workers do a lot of work in the off season and even during the season. It's quite impressive. Here they are working on flying canoes. Um, so you'll start to see the arms raising and lowering um, as they work on it and then go in and make some adjustments after. Um, so that is the rest of the shot here. Uh, but the park is in full swing. There are people everywhere. Every department has people moving things around, cleaning up rides, um, getting the park ready. But a huge kudos uh, to the maintenance team for the hard work that they do and getting all these rides ready. Because when you look at a park like Canada's Wonderland, there are rides literally every X amount of feet in that park. and. I can't even imagine how many maintenance workers you would need and Wonderland, I, I don't know how many they have, but it's just a lot of work and a lot of responsibility. And a lot of us enthusiasts overlook the kinds of things that go into getting a ride ready for the season. So I just wanted to do a huge thank you um, and just a shout out to anyone working in maintenance. Obviously anyone working at Canada's Wonderland, it's a really hard job, but the maintenance team definitely has a lot of work on their <laughs> their plate, especially in this last six weeks as the park gets ready. They have to get a certain group of rides ready for each weekend because each weekend is a different group of rides that are going to be testing, which you'll see further explained in my next videos. 
Um, but essentially what's going on right now, I'm just gonna re-wrap it up just so you guys kind of get a better idea of how Wonderland gets ready for the season. Um, a lot of the workers, anyone who wants hours is asked to come in and kind of clean up the rides, polish them like you clean them, clean the queue lines, sweep up any of that winter fall debris um, and get the park looking like a park again. While maintenance gets the rides ready through Monday through Thursday, maintenance will work on a specific ride group that's gonna be testing on the weekend. Um, and then on that weekend, the ride group will test as they teach all the people they hired for the season in that ride group um, how to run those rides. So that's when you'll see the rides running consistently. Um, Monday to Thursday, they run the rides a couple of times. In 2021, I was very lucky to catch a couple of them. This year, it looks like I missed Flight Deck, unfortunately, but we'll have Flight Deck footage testing this weekend. It'll be running. I'm not sure if Vortex is gonna be running this weekend just because of construction due to the construction fence being, not the construction fence, but the safety fence being down on that first turn after the drop um, and the construction workers needing to complete that restaurant. I don't think Vortex will be training this weekend, so that'll be uh, unfortunate, but um, yeah, nonetheless, uh, it's really exciting. You're gonna start seeing really cool videos uh, on this channel, so stay tuned. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna see rides testing, cool cinematic shots of the coasters, slow-mo shots of the coasters. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys the full capabilities of this drone. We've been working on it because we actually, again, have our first um, job with a theme park this summer uh, with the drone, so super excited. Nonetheless, stay tuned. You'll see some footage um, in the next couple of days of stuff happening at Wonderland. That's really cool, and fingers crossed that we'll be able to show you something even cooler um, sometime soon. Knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it, but Hopefully we'll be able to get in there and show you guys something. So thanks so much for watching um, and thanks so much for supporting the channel and can't wait to see you guys in the park in six weeks, I think. Five or six weeks, one of the two. Anyways, thanks so much. I, I've said thank you like 30 times. I sound so annoying. Have a good one. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs>